because if God is our creator, no, 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 if, no, if that's God not is what our, it says, no, read Romans, dude. No, I, read Romans. We can go to Romans chapter five. I'll explain gonna, to you that passage in Romans again. chapter five. Okay. Okay. I'll take you take. I'm Colossians just telling you. What again? Two. Romans chapter thirteen through seventeen. Thirteen through seventeen. Yes, sir. All right. How have you been, man? All right. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's been a while since we've talked. Huh? Yeah, you need to talk to Joel because again, you need I to, tried. You, I tried. Well, I hear. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, you're. Okay, here, let me read. No, but that's what you asked me to do last time, yeah, sir, and I yeah, did it. And I, I, was, I wasn't I mean, lying to you. I said I was going to eat people who are coming here, and you're picking people off, which is very cowardly. No, it's not. We're giving you the truth. And saying that, that even though you've never heard to listen to a single sermon, you've never listened to a single Bible study, and you're convinced 100% right. that what he's teaching is right, false sir, doctrine. So can we just, I'm going to explain to you why that's not fair to say that. But I, that's exact. How is that because not fair? That's exactly he, your, your guy what up here, it's who's not my a guy, he's your a teacher, he says he's teaching. He's a teacher. Okay. He was coming against the Catholics, but should then I ask him, have you sat with the Catholics in their yeah, church? Yeah, we have. Actually, I know personally that's very not well the way a lot of teachers and Catholics. I would never condemn him for that because you don't, to have, to, okay. you don't have to, you don't have to sit in there to know they're wrong. I don't have to sit in your place and know you're You wrong. are saying that the pastor is a false teacher, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, Not but today. you've never heard a single word that he uttered in a sermon. I know his doctrinal statement. I know who he's a part of. No, we we talked about this last time. It's Calvary no, Chapel. It's, no, you don't. Yes. Calvary because Chapel. I asked you where you got it from, and you said on a Calvary Chapel like the main website, yeah. and that's not a doctrinal well, statement. Well, then you for have to church. take you have to take the sign down. That it's guilt by association. But we prove by your own people that their testimonies are fraud too. So we are out here out of goodwill. So today. are you a man? Am I a man? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So there are men who have committed rape. So guilt yes. by association. You are a man. I mean, can I make that association with you? The, all men that have ever existed in history. Well, I would be. There honest. are a lot of men who have murdered. It, that, would, it would be unfair. Do you know anyone but, who's yeah. uh, who's done those sorts sorts of things? I mean, not all men have sinned. Have you talked Jesus. with people who have maybe, I don't know, beat up a guy for no reason or maybe... Jesus was a man too, but I don't really see okay, the point. Okay, but it's, you know it's I mean? illogical. I it's mean, not. I feel by, lo by association. It is. Okay. If you're Catholic, you're Catholic. I mean, that's well, it. And that, that's the thing, like... So there's, you know, there are Catholics that aren't going to heaven. Oh, there, there is no Catholics at all that are saved. I mean, it's impossible for a but Catholic what if to they receive Roman Christ Catholicism. as their Lord and Savior? You can't. You because can't it, says come out from, it says come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. Uh, like separate from who? I mean, they're, 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 separate, wi they're what wickedness. What says? Who says and come, become separate from who? They have, they have to come out from among these, these false who? believers. God. The God. Apostle Paul. Where, does, where is it in the Bible? 2 Corinthians 6. 2 Corinthians 6 says what? Come out from among them and be you separate, saith the Lord, and them? not anyone who's a sinner. Okay. So everyone who's a Catholic in your eyes is a sinner. They have yes. false teachings. I'm not a Catholic. Okay. I mean, they have, they have right. false what, teachings. What if they reject some of the false teachings, like praying to Mary? Then they wouldn't be a Catholic anymore. They have to come okay. out. They have wouldn't to, that they be can't, a You wouldn't can't that call be a yourself a Catholic. If you're calling Maybe yourself a Catholic, Maybe they don't associate themselves with a Catholic. I don't associate right. myself with, the, uh, with Calvary Chapel. I associate myself as being a follower of Christ. Okay. It is absolutely so, irrelevant so come which church I go to. So come out today. Come out today. Come out. You what remember you come out of come out from under this place of fault. You're fellowship in here, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so that you need to come out. Yeah, demonstrate to me that you're fellowship. Okay, you want to be fellowship? Okay, you're testing me that the mosaic law is now the truth. So you said that one of the Ten Commandments and all of the Judaic law in the Old Testament was nailed to the cross, with the exception of get. Let me get this straight. Nine. Of the test uh, of the Ten Commandments yeah. are still in force. And, uh, and quickly, I'll just say because they're morally imposed on creation, like not committing I, adultery. I, I would like to. Okay, so let me read. Okay, go ahead. And you, being dead in your trespass and uncircumcision of your of your flesh, have yeah. been made lie together again with Him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us. And you're going to have to, I'm, 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 I'm a King you're going to give me some of your bent, uh, bent on this. This is New King James. I'm a, I, I always go by the King James. Okay, and I bet you you're going to tell me how uh, I'm probably not going to heaven because I'm reading this version. No, I didn't say that. All right, so, uh, so don't what bet. difference does we, it make? We, I quit then why do you even bring that up? What difference does it make? Well, because he did nail it to the cross. I'm surprised that okay. you don't believe that, like, just oh, for wait, me saying what? It. Now, like the Sabbath cross. days, I mean, that's Wiped what we're Wiped out the handwriting of requirements well, that was against us. The, the passage isn't over yet. Keep reading it. Okay. Which was contrary to us that he has taken out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. It being the handwriting of requirements. Thank being, you. Meaning the law. Yes. 
Okay, so all of the law, or the yeah, mosaic all of law, the law, the mosaic law, including the mosaic law. No, no, this is referring all to, to the, the mosaic law. Yes. Okay, but not to all the Judaic law, because no, I don't th see that, that here. That's the mosaic law. Yeah, it's talking about but, okay. like death penalties. Yeah. Okay, like okay. having to not eat shellfish. But what about what about the Ten Commandments? Are they nailed the to the cross The Ten Commandments well? are actually part of the Sinai Covenant, and that's referred to more what's, in Second Corinthians three. Sinai Covenant. The, si the covenant that God made with His people. Sinai, Sinai. Like, the, like the poison? No, Mount Sinai. Okay, so Sinai Covenant. Okay, all right. Why would so you even bring having, up poison, sir? I don't. I Sinai. 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 I'm not very good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's kind of a scoff. Where are you guys from? No, it's not actually. I, I what, kind, what church are you guys from? Uh, the Church of Jesus Christ. Oh, Which one's that? It? It's just you have to be born of the water and the spirit to enter into it. Where? where does it have an address? Uh, we fellowship in a house. Yeah. Okay. Where? Where is that? At? So who's your leader? Are you some kind of cult? Jesus yeah. is the leader. Oh really? Yeah. Huh? And then you got all these signs out like this? Yeah. What's wrong yeah. with the sign? All right. So I'll What's continue. You're a little messed up. <laughs> Where's What's messed up about the sign? They met in houses. Sinners don't have grace or Jesus? Yeah. Right. So that's what they How do you figure that? Well, in Titus chapter okay, 2. Okay, so... How what, do you, what does the grace of God do? According to the scripture. I mean, if you it's know... It's the gift it, of God. No, what does the grace of God do? He made public according, spectacle according of them. I mean, continuous tense no, and future not. simple, speaking that I still in, now sin. In Acts 23... Sin still dwells in he, me. I owe to death my flesh. No, no, you're not listening. And I will continue to put to death my flesh. not listening. I don't need to listen to him read something he's twisting. How am I twisting it? That is grammar. Sir, you're going to burn in hell when you die. Okay? Thank you. They, thank you. You, According you need to, you, to know that. I thank you. Okay? <laughs> thank so you. In the Greek. I'm but I already know I have Jesus exists. Christ as my Savior. You hate Jesus. Okay? Oh, wow. Yes, you do. You do you and said that's you not sin nature right there? No, of Greek. course not. It's Proverbs passing 8, judgment. 36. I thought, I thought you said you don't pass he, judgment on people. that wow, He dude. thinks he's born a sinner. Hey, that's Merry Christmas, huh? That, that's a false thing. That's what the Bible right. says. Merry Christmas. That we're born Merry into Christmas? sin. I, I David don't said Christmas. in the Psalm oh, 15 that I was born okay. into sin. Uh, he said, in the birth sin of Christ, when mother you celebrate that? Me. His mother was. Do you celebrate the birth of Christ? It says in Ecclesiastes 7 Christ come to earth? God is made Why did Jesus upright? say that we're born into sin? He did. Why did the apostles say we're born into sin? And why does it say in Genesis, God said that, you know, that we're born into sin after Adam and Eve? It doesn't say that. the Bible than you do right now. Because we just told you that. It's not in the Bible, in the and Greek. it's not. I'm just it's told, not. I just read it to you, dude. Which one? I mean, oh in Romans. Gosh. You brought up the verse in Romans, no, no, and Roman, I read it in hey, context. This. I'm like, Greek Roman, has grammar, Romans dude. 7 is about your life, sir, <laughs> and your <laughs> loss. It has you're nothing blind. to do. In Romans 7, it says, I was alive so like, without okay, the law Okay, so once. you agree with verse 5. It's like, yeah, I'm hyper-focused on this one verse. That's, but when you take it in context, what? like, no, no, sir, no, no, sir, that's twisting. Were you in the flesh, or are you in the flesh? Yes. We are all in the flesh. That's you not are what Paul too. said. That's you not are, what he said. No, right here. He says we He's were speaking in about the flesh. himself it as a believer. Sir, he also says in present tense, Acts 23, I am a Pharisee. Was he a Pharisee? He was recounting his story. There right you go. Now. That's well, all it is. Let's keep sir, reading. That's all, all it is then. That's, that's all. Is he still a Pharisee? Stop those yeah. sins. Stop he's the still sins. a Pharisee. Stop it's like a title all, PhD. It's like when I came to Christ, But he's not a Pharisee, sir. He's not. He's a saint. Let's go ahead and keep reading. Sir, it's the same thing. How about so, you, sir? I, Romans 7, 5. It says, when we were in the flesh. Are you in the flesh? Or are you... you read further, he's speaking about his current so, state. So when you're not, sir, you can spirit. attest to what we're talking about. Okay. So, so I find so, then that the law, that evil is present with me. Present tense. And one who wills to do good, for I delight in the law of God. Present tense. According to the inward man. But I see another law in my members present tense, warning against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which I, is in I my don't numbers. A oh, wretched man that I am, present simple, who will deliver me from this body of death, present simple. I, mean, he, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord, then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, in my mind, present tense, that uh, with the flesh, the law of sin. I'm so he you still right now, struggles sir. with it now. This, this idea that you have chapter about this eight, chapter is going to send you to hell. There is, therefore, now no hell. condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> no condemnation. By faith, in grace, we you are walk, saved. How do they but walk? But he still what is, struggles what is with say? the flesh. What does okay. it say? Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. So but he's struggling with it. No, he's not. That's a context. No, he's, no, he's Chapters not. were not in the original Greek. It says in Second Corinthians 10. For the law of the spirit of life is Christ Jesus that has made me free from the law of sin and death. He still struggles with so it. So are you saying that once you, once you come to Christ that you don't sin again? 
You don't have to. Well, of course you don't have to. But right. so that means when you These came to Christ, you're not for like uh, dear sir. You make a good point. So that so means when you come to Christ, you're not still sinning if you don't have to. Well, you you don't you've never had to sin. Exactly. There's never been a point that you exactly. have to sin. You you're you're to correct. Sin. You're and correct. even once you That's come to correct. faith, you can still. So so what happens if you've come to Christ? You know Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. And then you're going, and all of a sudden you're talking to somebody who's argumentative, and you get frustrated and you lose your temper, and you sin. If if you so, if, so if you lose your temper is a sin if it's unrighteous. I mean Jesus looked upon them with anger. He never sinned. So I if mean we were, if, depends, you, if I we mean, caused you, if we basically provoked you to a point that you got mad and you basically said something unrighteously, like if I called you the F word or something. Sure. Yeah, that's a sin. Or yeah, even sure. if you're that's standing bad. here in arrogance. Like I guess it's this because a lot of times when we go and we interact with people, yeah, we think that we're in a superior position. Yeah, Are I you know. coming with all grace and humility? Because Absolutely. If that's the case, we're trying to get you saved. Well, I heard him say. You sound like you actually know what's going on about this. Whether you live it or not is your choice. But, well, that's the way it is for everybody. But to say and to suggest the Apostle Paul was walking in the flesh is heresy. He I said mean, it himself. No, it's his testimony. He said, I, my, it, there's a war within well, no, because me, you the can't flesh deify, against the you spirit. You can't deify the he Apostle struggles Paul. struggles He it. even admitted He's you don't have to do it. So then why was it's Paul true. apparently But there's doing still it. that temptation. We still wait, struggle. Wait, temptation is not what? a sin. And sometimes we sin and we fall short of the glory of God. Why was Paul doing what? Uh, Paul was not walking in the flesh. He was walking in the spirit. There were moments because he even said the whole reason that God gave me this the problem with we assume his eyes, that thorn in the flesh, was to keep me humble so that I don't get into those points. He even that said, imitate not... me, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Thus saying, not imitate me because I yeah. am just as Christ. <laughs> not in, in general. Because right? there are times when I'm most definitely in the spirit and I'm showing you him. When I'm doing that, follow me. When I am not doing that, well, the thorn in the flesh was not Paul sinning. That was a minister of Satan to buffet him. It was Correct. not about him actually no, 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 living in a life of sin like he's reading. No, but That's he, a con t testimony. When you, when you read that, the whole reason, he goes, and basically the reason that God has given me this thorn in the flesh is so that it basically keeps me humble. So that I, my flesh does not rise up. It's a constant thing for me to constantly take that back to him. He's given me that not as a not as a problem but as an actual blessing uh, yes sir the to flesh keep me at that point. the flesh is neutral what you do with it is your choice that's what peter taught in 1 peter 4 that jesus christ you know we're to look at him and cease from sin so how we live in our days in the flesh we either live to the lusts of men or to the will of god so so but flesh is but used negatively time, for you to here. say that sinners at what point do you stop being a sinner uh, when you repent of sins, you're not practically sinning, and when you have faith in Jesus, you're, you're possessionally. Not sin. That's exactly what I said. You said no, no, you, stop. You, you need that, to stop. You need to stop. Before that, no, I'm just quoting you. That's, yeah, go ahead. Because I ahead. said, yes. yeah, like you, we don't practice sin. Okay. But you had said if you, you can't sin in general, so now you just change. To your keep statement. your salvation, I mean, you could you, go and yeah, sin. How I mean, do you keep your salvation? It's not. He your says salvation. to keep yourselves in the love of God. Correct. That's how you stay saved. Correct. So, because if you okay. if you turn to hatred of God, you're not saved. As Paul said, "Let them be anathema." If you do not love the Lord Jesus, okay. so if I commit I adultery, Jesus? if I commit adultery, I don't love Jesus. So it, that's I know this is a fact. I know this. Okay. So yeah, yeah. What if somebody sins, but they still love Jesus and they repent immediately? Um, well, they hated we Jesus. Have cases like this they, they, where David, David for hated Jesus when he sinned. He God, hated him. God hated him. himself said of David that he's a man after my own when heart. When he was anointed. He, he, yes. No, God said, as a matter of fact, he is a man so, after yeah, my I own heart. I guess when the, he, when the he was anointed. He had, yes, you can't, so, it's not like a, at this moment, I am I am loving Jesus. Oh, I have just thought of oh, That's thought, what the Bible And now teaches. I'm hating Jesus. That's what the Bible And now I'm teaches. back to loving Jesus. Yes, it is. It's a relationship. You can walk away from a friendship. Well, obviously, it's Correct. a relationship, yeah. but, you know, we make we sin against Christ. You don't, that doesn't mean I don't love him I think at you, this moment. I think comp comp we hurt people that we love. Oh, man. Well, it's a sin to hate. Compartmentalizing it in such a way is just... It's, well, that's the that's the road you guys went with the love and hate thing. But the Bible does talk about love and hate because the proverb says, whosoever sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those that hate me love death. Have you ever hurt somebody that you loved? Yes, I'm sure I have in the past. Okay, I, mean, so you, I, I wasn't obedient to my parents. Did you stop loving them in that moment, was, like, or did you yes, still love them? Yes, that's not real love. Real love is that you listen to your parents. So if I was disobedient to my parents, that's hate. 
that well, doesn't mean that the magically the love goes uh, away at this uh, well, fleeting moment. But if you get to make out what love is, then you get to make out whatever no, it means. We but hurt people is... that we love, and that love doesn't go away. Okay. It's just in this moment, it's like... Okay, so you know, it's unloving action. That action might be unloving, but, but that doesn't mean that we don't love them in that moment. You are who you serve. Because there's a lot of people that say they love Jesus, Catholics. They don't. Okay, we're not, why are we talking about Catholics? No, because the first guy initially did, but it's a, it's an open example that's fair. Well, because I, I would say that probably what you believe is a lot closer to what Catholics believe. That's probably why you brought it up, because they do have a works faith, uh, we, based we faith. We basically just teach repenting of all sin and having faith. I know, but it is a lot works, because... That's not works. Though. Yeah, Because yeah, Jesus ever yes, penned and do the first works. Yes, I mean, Jesus is. Christ is not a works. Do you have to be here? Do I have to be here? Yeah. I mean, no, I'm called to be here. Okay. I, I can who? go somewhere else. By who? Jesus Christ. I mean, so Jesus part. told you to come and tell people that know Jesus that they don't actually know Jesus well, and that they don't, your, they aren't actually it's saved. By your testimony. So sir. the same Jesus that we are saved under and that we are following in love. Well, also told you to come tell us that we're not actually saved and we don't well, actually know I, Jesus. We're going by what you said. So that doesn't even make any sense at all. Person, Maybe you say you're, you're a sinner. A different Jesus? You say you're a sinner, sir, and I know there's no sinners that are saved. Right, and so and that, and then they said they believe in original sin. That's yeah. a false teaching. Yeah, it's a false and teaching. Then he, the then original he, sin? Yeah, he believes in original sin and wants saved, always saved. Those are both heresies. Yeah, all we heresy. were born into sin. That is no, biblical, no, no, scripture. It's not, it's not biblical. Okay, so that's not in the Bible. No. Born into sin. The Bible sin. does born not say. sin. No, we're not born a sinner. We're not born a sinner. We're not born a sinner. We can give you scriptures. Ecclesiastes 7.29, it says that God has made man upright. I mean, we can give you other ones, too. It's what? God has made man upright. Ecclesiastes 7.29. Made him with time or from birth? Everyone. From, okay. Made from birth or as a process? Conceived. Does it say conceived or made? Well, that's what it means. How do you know? What's because the, Jesus what's the Christ Hebrew came word? in the same flesh. What's the Hebrew word? What's the, I don't know Hebrew. Okay, well, you might want to check that out. Well, then. you, I, I, yeah, you, you know, explain it. You know it, it means me. conceived. You, you explain it. I don't know. I'm just it's asking that, you. I don't well, think because, you've done your homework. No, I have I, because Hebrew yeah. says that Jesus came in the same flesh. And I know he yeah. wasn't born into sin. No, he wasn't. And that's he had right. the same flesh he's as you. He's the exception. He has the same flesh as you. Correct. No, so then that's conception then. It means conceived. I mean, God has made it up. But he came out of a woman. Right. He came out of a normal woman. So, okay. So, according to what you're saying, like, if if man if man was created a sinner, then you would be saying that Jesus was created a sinner as well, because he came from a, no. a wom he came from no, a woman. No, because, uh, because so it's did, God in flesh. So, Jesus but, but what about Mary? God but she, in but flesh. he came out of a woman. The one and only human who has never sinned. I, hopefully, we agree. Well, well, what, yeah, it's a choice. Okay, he, so, he, he, he chose I, not to sin. Right, right he, he chose, chose not to sin. But yeah. Mary, but when you look, he at he chose me, not to sin, no, or I, he was incapable of sinning. No, as I'm asking. I'm asking you a question. As God, the. He could have sinned if he wanted to. He was a man. He was Why a, would he if he's God? Is God capable of sinning? I mean, he had he had, he had a free will. I he mean, was yeah. tempted if to he sin. wanted to. Exactly. Okay. He couldn't have been tempted if he couldn't have chosen. Yeah, you'd be tempted of things, but be unable to do it. Like somebody might convince me to rape. I will never rape. But you could. Okay. That's someone could tempt me. You could yeah, but that's not happening. Prophetically, the that Bible says happening. he would not, and he is God Almighty. I agree. However, God has a will, and the Bible says they even tempt so God. So God's capable of sinning. Uh, he could choose to if he wanted, but we know he has told us he will not. Okay, Jesus I'm, Christ is I, God. Know, he could have given in to Satan if he chose to. But he yeah, chose but not he's to. he's not going to. Yeah, I, I agree. agree. Prophetically, I, I agree. So how can he sin against his own nature? Well, because then he didn't have a, a will. If he did not have a will, he could not do the will of the Father. He had a will. Does God have a will? Yes. Okay. The and Father Jesus had a will. will. Yeah. But what does that have to do with sinning against your own nature? Well, we don't think God will. He's told us he will not. He's revealed this to us, but he has free will. He's capable okay. of doing what he wants to do. He can change his mind. He's not a Calvinist. He's not like... I mean, I'm not saying you guys are Calvinists, but it preaches more into those terms. I mean, Jesus is God, and he had a okay. will. He could have chose to sin. The Bible says it. But all, but also, when I, what I was saying about Mary, so if, if all humans have original sin, yeah. then that would mean that Mary had original sin. And Jesus, yeah. Jesus came out of the womb of yeah. Mary. Yeah. yeah. So if, yeah. If, if, all, exactly. if all... Good. If We're all, getting somewhere. If all humans have original sin, yeah. that would mean that, that 
that original sin would have been passed on to Jesus. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's God. No, but he That's came, the but, thing. He, no, but he was but he, he came in the same flesh like we all I think he came in the same flesh. Yeah, the idea we okay, have so sir, is, it is, the, that, is it the flesh that makes you sinful or is it our nature that makes it the sinful flesh? That's what that I'm makes asking you. I'm I'm telling you it's not the flesh itself. So the flesh is it's not the sinful. nature. It, Paul uses okay Okay. But getting back to the Greek word, okay? Right. Flesh is used interchangeably to a nature which is inside of us and the physical flesh itself. Okay, would you agree that the flesh is also used positively in the Bible at times? Absolutely. Okay, but so when he's talking about the spiritual side of us that wants to war against God as and do what we feel like doing, that is a nature that we are born with. It, well, 100%. It's not, it's not what you're born with. We don't believe that. It's what you That's not what you believe. I'm, again, I'm going to call you back to you because I like scripture. You gave me a single verse in Romans 7 with absence I, I of context. I give you more actually okay. in Romans 7. No, I, I know. There's a lot one. there. I'm quite familiar with the chapter. We agree with the testimony. We, you see it differently, but also says... It's not that I see it differently. That's just the grammar. He's talking about the present I know, but a baby would situation. never a baby would never suggest that about themselves. They can't even talk. A baby is not sold under sin. Uh, the original sin people believe that all of mankind at this current moment is sold under sin. Well, but that infant children, that was here is not. So when not children infant, start to sin, toddler. how do they start doing Like, who do they get it from? Well, they, actually, it says in the prophet Ezekiel that they can see their parents do it and say no. Okay, or they can so, yes. uh, so a child throws food on the floor because they witness their parents doing it. And then yeah. you tell the kid, no, like, don't do that. So they saw their parents i mean like everything that a child well, does it's wrong like a five is because month they observe doesn't their know what parents it doing it they don't know what it they just don't know okay when they don't listen it's because they see their parents not listening to their parents i mean that look, could happen uh, no dude we, I mean, we're we born in sin or we have not. sinful we're flesh we're like not. no one has to teach us to sin it just happens naturally That's just not what the we Bible have to be says, it absolutely in, in is Ezekiel what the Bible 18, says. it says we have to be that. taught to do the right things. In fact, in Romans seven, it also says Paul said, "I was alive without the law once." So when I, when I, and so then sin, you know. So I mean, with it, one, when one of my children lie to me, did I teach them that? Even though I've never lied to them, or they've never witnessed me lying to anyone. But you could have, though. I think that's the point. Okay, well, the, that's the a point great is, sin is a learned, I'm talking about it's a learned thing. Where does that sin come from? It's a choice they made. There are things that my kids do that nobody taught them to do it. They and, just do it. And and I have to uh, reteach Satan them could have taught them to do it. Right them to do it. Uh, one of their friends. I mean, it could be a lot of different things. But the idea itself is sin is learned, and it's a and choice. And Satan could be leading you here to try and tell people that they're not saved and they don't actually know Jesus, even though we're like we're that's, quite clear about where we're at that's with Christ. A possibility okay, so. in general, but we don't believe that would be accurate, and we can explain. That's why. fine. No one would yeah. admit that it's like, well, maybe I am deceived by Satan, and when they have this self-righteous kind of position where we're going to tell you that well, you're telling uh, you're us saved. we're wrong too. I'm not something. telling you. I'm asking a lot of questions, and you you, I, you I haven't got told it on us camera, so you can go uh, back. You and I asked you a lot of questions. I was not trying to prove you wrong. I'm trying to figure out where you're at. Well, no, sir, where we, your head's at we know that you're unsaved. By your own admission, okay. you said you're a and sinner. And you're self-righteous and pompous. And there you go. See, you just came out with it. That's what you're telling us no, we're I wrong mean, that's too. quite so literally. When you tell someone you they're wrong, it's not a sin. Here's it's the not. thing. And again, it's I mean, you're sin, basically the same Christ that saved us is the same Christ that's telling you to come and tell me that I'm unsaved and that I'm not you actually You have a different Christ. Christ. I mean, your Christ created people in sin after Adam, and that's wrong. It's foolish. And how do you know that you have the right Christ? Because I know because I have the Holy Ghost. Okay, and I have the Holy Ghost too. So how do we know who's right? But you're walking in the flesh. How do you know? You said it. Yeah, and so are you. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm walking in the Spirit. Every day. He, he said he's And here's the thing. The that's Spirit. why you're, you're so arrogant right now. Your because you are, you don't, Guys, he you're not even living in, in grace because you're this is convinced. Grace because grace teaches not to sin. Okay. So if people and come that's out why, and... That's why you're... We're so, telling you not to. We're telling you not to and sin. And I already know that and I agree. But then, but you keep on sinning, and you say you're saved. That's a deception. I'm not sinning right now, but okay. I, I do well, occasionally sin, and I have to repent from we it. We agree; it's kids, possible I mean, not kids, to sin right I now. I have to apologize to them and repent okay. to God and to my kids. Like, hey, I sin against. So, you. I guess wrong. what would happen if you died without repenting to God? Uh, what would happen if it happened to you? If I'm I if I saved. died in sin, what I'd about, go to hell. What about the man who died on the cross next to Jesus? He repent of all his sin. Did he make amends with those people? 
You don't have to. Restitution toward man is something we do, but it doesn't forgive sin. Okay. The blood forgives well, sin. Jesus did say to go and do that. So yeah, how did he but, get saved? But the guy did couldn't. He, he, he said, don't, take, don't bring a sacrifice to God until you go make amendments with your yeah. brother. Did he have the opportunity to do that? The people that have opportunity and how did he get saved? Needs. I said salvation is through faith in Christ. Okay, and Jesus said... To don't bring a sacrifice before the Lord. But what you're saying Lord. is a scoffer's argument because what you're saying would reject what Jesus said to the thief. Jesus said to the thief, today you'll be with me in paradise. He never said, get yeah. off that but cross and make amends and then so you can be forgiven. Yeah. So and then what's Jesus your said point? he was saved. I don't understand. You asked the question. I said, I you never are saved. said restitution toward if you man do not have the, If you do not have the opportunity to go and fully repent and make amends and get everything no. fixed, but it's like, God, you know what? You need I'm to repent sinful. of your sins. What you do with the rest of your life is a lot depends on how long God gives you to breathe. Okay. But you need to repent of your sins today. And like original sin is a sin. You're and teaching I have. a sin. And I have. You're teaching a lie. Yeah, what's the lie? Original sin is a lie. Okay, so you're hung up on that one no, thing. No, no, I'm hung up on other stuff. The Roman you're, 7 you're thing is a heresy. On... The Roman 7 is a heresy. What's a heresy? Uh, your guy here. What's a heresy? The Roman 7 is the Christian life. Can you life. articulate? What, a, what is what the is heresy? What is a heresy? What is the heresy in Romans 7? For, for you to say Christians live like that is a heresy. How's that? Because Paul said we do not walk according to the flesh. You don't have a war with the flesh and between the war. You don't have a war within yourself between the spirit and the flesh and doing what's right. We, we have so a war. So you don't face any temptation the, ever. The, the deeds of the flesh, Satan tempts do us to do Do you have temptation? Yes. Okay. Do you have a war between your spirit and the flesh? Yes. Then you agree with no, me. No, because Paul is saying in oh Romans gosh, 7, dude. he's doing those You're things. You're a word monger. No, it's what not. you are, dude. Do you, are you doing the deads of the flesh? I'm right asking. now? No. Yeah. Okay, so you. So then that's not Romans dude, 7. But if I sin, You're not I'm Roman still saved. 7. You're not Romans 7 then. You're not Romans 7. But I still have the war within me. There's still the temptation. the temptation. Sometimes I Jesus sin. Jesus said his flesh is weak too. Oh gosh, dude. Jesus. Yeah. So no, he didn't. flesh, yeah, he did. Where? It says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Was he speaking about himself or yeah, people? Yeah, because it says he was crucified through weakness. Is he was in, in the flesh. Okay, where is that in the same ver in the same chapter? No. Okay, then how are you stringing those two together? Because he was crucified through weakness. He's in the body like us. We understand yeah, that. Yeah, through it, weakness it, of what? He so, became a man. So like if you would be tempted. 100% God, 100% man. You can't, have you are word mongering. You're no. stringing these things together no, actually, that are completely and wholly unrelated. No, I actually yes, took you are. your words. Yes, you are. And I told you, you're not Tell me the verse again. Tell seven. me the verse again. Which one? The, the one before about uh, Christ's crucifixion, that he was crucified in his weakness. He was crucified through weakness. I cannot, Before that. The one, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Was he speaking of himself yeah. or of mankind? He's speaking of anyone in the body. What verse is that? That has knowledge of good What verse is that? Mark 14. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made him. Of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bad.